Chumley, the beverage situation around here is reprehensible. Oh, good morning, sunshine. Surely our massive conglomerate parent company could spring for a samovar of coffee. Yeah, or like a big coffee dispenser. That's what a samovar is. Are there other black nerds, or is it just you and Urkel? Just sit there. Come over and give me some sugar. No, thank you. Well, if you ever want to piss off your parents, you come see me. Yeah, right this way, uh, Tracy. This is Tim Grandy. He's from Bowie, Maryland. Rachel Bay, she just got engaged. Josh Gerard, he got 760 on his SATs, graduated from SUNY Cortland. Frank Rossitano has every copy of Black Tail Magazine ever published. J.D. Lutz, thyroid problem. James Spurlock, but we call him twofer, because with him you get a two for one. He's a black guy and a Harvard guy. Mm. And of course, you know uh, Lennon. How did you do that? It's my job. A robot, kick him in the knees. Bears have weak knees. And you should vibrate, because the robot's full of radiation. Yeah, that's it. Frank, how many bears did I say you could have? One. And how many do you see here? Um, four. Save a little money for the rest of us, Frank. You can't spend a bunch of money on bear suits that are only going to be seen for like 25 seconds. Liz, nobody's going to believe that a killer robot can get his ass kicked by one bear. It doesn't make any sense. You're trying to bring logic to the robot bear sketch? You can't have four bears. Well, how many can I keep? One. Sorry, guy. You know, I'd be happy to answer any questions. I'm sorry, you're saying you want us to use the show to sell stuff? Look, I, I know how this sounds. No, come on, Jack, we're not doing that. We're not compromising the integrity of the show to sell. Wow, this is diet Snapple? I know, it tastes just like regular Snapple, doesn't it? You should try Plumagranate, it's amazing. I only date guys who drink Snapple. Look, we all love Snapple, uh, Lord knows I do, but focus here. We're talking about product integration. That was weird. You missed it, Tracy was acting old school bananas. He's always bananas. No, this was different. Yeah, like Conan should be afraid different. Uh, really? Where'd he go? Yes, I am having problems with my cable television. Yes, I will hold. Excuse me, I have another call. Hi, Mom. I am doing fine. Ooh, that's not good. Ah, oh, Frank, that was my blood cookie. Ooh, what? Yeah, it's pretty good. But I think the boobs should swing more. Yeah, then I could go, Rodney, don't make me come over there and beat you in the head with one of my boom boom. <laughs> yeah. This is just appalling. What's your problem? I just think it's demeaning for a black man to do drag. What? Everybody loves a dude in a dress. I mean, those are the best Bugs Bunnies. Frank. There are large pockets of African-American culture that Caucasians know nothing about. The stigma of drag is one of them. Whatever. I played a woman before. Hunky grandma be tripping, made $96 million. All I'm saying is, is drag is a way for Caucasians to emasculate you and make you seem non-threatening. We never would have stooped so low on Black Frasier. Black Frasier? Niles, this Beaujolais is impeccable. It's both fruity and precocious. That's not the only thing around here that's fruity and precocious. <laughs> I never heard of Black Frasier. What? It was huge on BET every Thursday night at about 9 and 9.15. Think about it, Tracy. All the best African-American comedians refuse to do drag. Chris Rock doesn't do it. Dr. Cosby doesn't do it. Bernie Mac doesn't do it, because he'd be ugly as hell. Forget it. I'm not wearing this dress. It's prejudicial. Thanks a lot. Now, what am I supposed to do with this sketch? I'll do it. I mean, my parents raised me as a girl for like 10 years. But I told you guys that. Well, I don't know why they need you in the studio. Surprise! Oh, oh my god! Is this for me? I can't believe you made all this fuss over my birthday. It's so incredibly thoughtful. Let me give something back to you guys. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead hey, the way. Hey, guess what, everyone? I'm engaged. Oh, I'm engaged. Hey, this isn't gonna change the way you dress or eat lollipops, is it? No. Oh, then congratulations. <laughs> this is for you, Siri. I believe the children are our future. Teach them well and let them lead the way. Show them all the beauty. Everyone, that guess there. what? There's an antique car show out in the plaza. Oh! Oh! Get this 
tape? Oh, Josh broke into your office. You went in my office without permission? Because I'm worried about your scalp pain. Hello, everyone. Frank, could you tell Liz? Nope, not interested. Girl writer, could you tell Liz that I don't care? Jenna, stop this. It's stupid. Let's just go in my office and talk. Oh, there is nothing to talk about. Stop making this something it isn't. I just didn't like the movie because it's bad. These guys watched it, they'll tell you. Actually, we all kind of liked it. What? No, you didn't. Yeah, we all did. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's solid, and Jenna's really good in it. Thank you, Frank. Yeah, we're at the auto show, and that's how 2006 ended. 2007? I can't believe this. We're actually going to pull this off. It was early January 2007 when I got the idea to write my autobiography. So I took a meeting at Random House, and I went in to talk to this editor about it, and this dude looked me straight in the eyes and said, no, Mr. Jordan, no thank you. We do not want your book. Oops, my bad. That's all me. Shut it down. Hey, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to work all night tonight until we get caught up. What? Liz! I can't believe you're going to make us work all night on Valentine's Day. Is it Valentine's Day? Oh, I totally forgot. Hell yes, Liz Lemon. And I have plans. Me and Angie rented the penthouse at the Soho Grand, where we will drink wine and pleasure each other. Gross. When you've been married 17 years, you have to keep it spicy. That's why me and my wife role play. She put on a Girl Scout outfit with a box of cookies, and I answer the door on my boxes. Or I rent out a wheelchair, and she pretends to be my caseworker. And in a way, she is. Well, what about me? I just took a whole bunch of Cialis because I have big Valentine's plans tonight. With who? Uh, Did anybody nobody. see Condoleezza on Meet the Press yesterday? She always sounds so terrified. She's always like, the president has a plan for Iran, and we are currently adhering to that plan. <laughs> hey, Frank, wake up. You're not allowed to sleep through the topical meeting. Dude, I'm exhausted. I stayed up all night watching a Designing Women marathon. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. God, me too. Yeah, at first I hated it, and then I liked it, and then I hated it again, and then I got horny, and then I fell asleep. Yeah, well, focus up. We have a lot of work to do. What? Not what we're working. <gasps> Give me the rest Oh, I'm sorry, Teresa. Oh, sorry, sorry, see. I'm Tracy's new business manager. He gave me tickets to see the show. Oh, cool. Let's blow this joint. He's about to turn back into a taxi dispatch center. You going to the after, 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 after party? OK. Well, let's rock. Two, one, two, five, five, five. Don't go, Liz Lemon. This is the after, 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 after party. I just gotta take my kids to soccer first. Hey, whose roof is this? Woo! Hi, I got your coffee. Thanks. Oh, I forgot your muffin. Banana walnut, your favorite. Uh, that's not correct, but okay. Good morning, Liz. <laughs> What's all this? Sketches, promos, web content. Thoughts for next season. Uh huh. Nice hats. You haven't heard anything about layoffs, have you? What? No. And even if I had, I'm just being normal. Gosh. Okay. Hey, Liz, you want to hang out tonight? Because you're totally my role model. You make smart sexy. <laughs> There's my beautiful boss. Good morning. Good morning, Henry. Did you do a sketch about alien abductions? Yeah. yeah um, like a Lamaze class in Roswell. Yeah. Like a Roswell. Dude. What's with the ridiculous hat and glasses? I'm incognito. Some dude is trying to slap me with a subpoena for a paternity suit, and the kid ain't mine. How do you know it's not your child? Because I remember the girl, and it's impossible. I never got out of my car, and she never got all the way out of her toll booth. OK, let's get back to work, guys. How about a sketch about Bill Clinton eating hamburgers? That stinks. What is this, 1992? Eh, what do you want from me? I'm not a comedy writer. Huh? Mr. Jordan. You've been served. <laughs> Bill Cosby hates you. What? Look here. Tracy Jordan has made a career out of exploiting black stereotypes. He is an embarrassment to African Americans. Why would he say that? What have I ever done to embarrass black people? Uh... Why are we doing this? Because the judge law! 